Well, fine. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I am in Brandon, Vermont today. That's done in Rutland County, Vermont. And I'm here to talk to you about the Sanderson Bridge, another lovely covered bridge. And let me zoom in for you a bit so you can see that a little closer. This is a one-lane bridge. I do hear a car coming, so... That truck that went through, there was a car that had to back up. So it really is a one-lane bridge. I hear another car approaching too. All right, now that the cars have gone through and there's a couple of pedestrians walking through there, let me tell you about the Sanderson Covered Bridge. The Sanderson Covered Bridge is an historic covered bridge which carries Pearl Street over Otter Creek in Brandon, Vermont. Built about 1840, it is one of Vermont's oldest covered bridges and is the only remaining 19th century bridge in Brandon. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1974. The Sanderson Covered Bridge is located about 1.3 miles or 2.1 kilometers west of Brandon's Village Center on Pearl Street, a secondary road providing access to Brandon's west side and neighboring Sudbury. In fact, let me show you, uh, let me show you uh, Pearl Street. This, of course, is Pearl Street right here. And <laughs> yeah, we are talking... We are, we're not talking in the middle of nowhere, but um, because there are actually houses on the other side of those trees, but pretty much nowhere. I'll be going to Sudbury next, so I'm glad this is a back way to there. I hear a car. And um, I don't know if you can see the water that's right there, but... Uh, let me zoom in, maybe you can get a better... There we go, see the water now? That is Otter Creek, O-T-T-E-R. Like the animal. The bridge, though, is a single-span town lattice truss with a truss length of 123 feet, or 37 meters, and a total structure length of 131.5 feet, or 40.1 meters. The bridge rests on abutments built out of marble slabs, reinforced with concrete. It has a roadway width of 18 feet, or 5.5 meters, and a total width of 21.5 feet, or 6.6 .6 meters. The exterior is finished in vertical board siding, and it says here its portals are framed by crude pilasters, and I have to say, I don't see any um, portals. Uh, <laughs> There's no light in there. And uh, when I was down looking at the side, the uh, um, the left side as we're looking at it, uh, there were no, uh, the, the, the vertical boards went straight up and down, all the way to the top. So if there were portals, they don't exist any longer. The road deck is wooden and laminated beams have been attached to the underside of the structure for added strength. The bridge was built about 1840 and was one of two surviving covered bridges in Brandon when it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The Dean Covered Bridge, Brandon's other 19th century covered bridge, was destroyed by an arsonist in 1986. And I sure hope they caught the arsonist because arson often goes, um, uh, you know, the, those folks don't typically get caught. Um, and, uh, but if they caught the person, well, they threw the book at him or her. So, I mean, once these places are gone, uh, you can reconstruct them, but they're no longer historic. All right, so before I continue, uh, before we take a walk through there, let me um, read to you uh, uh, what a, a town lattice truss bridge is. I think you'll find it interesting. Of course, if you've been watching any of my other covered bridge videos, uh, you already would have heard this definition, but uh, this description, but um, if you have already heard it, you're going to hear it again. If you've never heard it before, well, here you go. Brand new for you. So a lattice, tr truss, a lattice bridge is a form of truss bridge that uses many small, closely spaced diagonal elements forming a lattice. The Lattice Truss Bridge was patented in 1820 by architect Ithiel, Ithiel Town. 
Ethel, capital I T H I E L. Originally a design to allow a substantial bridge to be made from planks employing lower skilled labor rather than heavy timbers and more expensive carpenters. This type of bridge has also been constructed using many relatively light iron or steel members. The individual elements are more easily handled by the construction workers, but the bridge also requires substantial support during construction. A simple lattice truss will transform the applied loads into a thrust, as the bridge will tend to change length under load. This is resisted by pinning the lattice members to the top and bottom cords, which are more substantial than the lattice members, but, but which may also be fabricated from relatively small elements rather than large beams. These types of bridges typically carry pedestrians, livestock, and vehicles. Span range is short to medium. Material is usually wood planks and beams or steel angles and beams, appropriate decking material. In this case, it's wooden, as I said. Uh, the design effort is typically medium. All right. So now that we've had <laughs> nobody driving through for a few minutes, we know, we know that... Uh, it is likely going to happen that we're going to have four-wheel company. But um, I was just talking to a woman who was going to be walking through it when it was pretty busy. And uh, she said she was nervous about doing that because, well, it's one lane. And, you know, as a pedestrian, hmm, there's always a chance you could be enjoying instant weight loss because you're flattened by a vehicle. But uh, I'm going to brave it. I have uh, experienced a, a fairly large pickup truck or an SUV behind me in, in, uh, in a one-lane bridge in Charlotte, also in Vermont. But uh, it's not like I can run. I use a cane. And I'm not thin. So running, hmm, I run my mouth. I can run water, too. But uh, <laughs> I'm not going to run otherwise. So, all right. Let me just look both ways. I mean, I actually can't see any farther than you can down there, but uh, there is no one coming the back behind me here, so I hear no one coming. All right, let's do this. And of course, this is Otter Creek again over here to our right now. These folks who have to tag things, I like to smack them upside the head and spray paint them. But <laughs> I digress. Now uh, I'll be showing you the uh, the uh, exterior vertical board siding so you can get a better look at that, and um, and the abutments in just a few minutes. But this, I think the light is going to help here. Uh, this is the lattice truss hopefully I'm stepping out of the realm of cars hitting me although I don't even see here any anyway so uh, look at how beautiful this is isn't it it's really gorgeous now, last time I saw a town lattice truss bridge, um, within the last couple of months anyway, was down in uh, Ferrisburg. And it had the same, these same things here. There was another style of, ladder, of uh, truss that I saw that had these, these uh, iron bolts, which for tightening was easy peasy. I would think to tighten these, you'd have to hammer them in more or even remove them entirely and use something a little thicker, you know, a little uh, with a wider diameter. But uh, I can be wrong about that. If you know, certainly say so in the comments below. I just, I, uh, I have to say I, I do love this, but do you see any portals in here? I know I don't. Looking all the way down, I just don't. I don't even see. Um, can't see there. Well, let's um, 
Any cars coming? I can't see it all now. Oh, I hear something coming now. Of course. Yes, I do. We have this right in front of us. Uh, it's bolted in place. But I'm on the inside groove here. See, I'm standing on this, inside this. So not where a car should be driving. But I'm just going to guess they're going to be surprised to see me. And even down here, there are um, these wooden um, bolts. I, I, I don't know what they would be called, but that's what they're doing. And they looks like they are holding the lament, these two boards together. Ooh, I can feel that uh, movement. Certainly, as I walk the plank. <laughs> now, I can see that the vertical siding uh, has uh, retracted in the cold. It's not that cold today, about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. 32 degrees is equal to zero degrees Celsius. So that's Fahrenheit to Celsius, of course. Oops. And we see some knots are missing uh, here and um, here. And some light down here. Now, I don't know if I can show you this all that well but that light you see to the left of the screen over here that's the otter creek from above oops that bud light can just wants to hang out with me but uh, anyway the colder weather makes the wood attract and uh, or contract and the uh, warmer weather will have it expand tell people have not walked along here that much if, it, if ever well there's a like footprint maybe right there but uh, I like the safety of it makes me happy I see a sign over there um, I don't hear anyone coming I don't see anyone coming You can see those same things. Welcome from the Vermont Covered Bridge Society. This covered bridge is located in Rutland County. For a description of this bridge and the other seven bridges located in the county, please go to vermontbridges.com forward slash Rutland underscore county dot html of course there's also this qr code i could scan if i weren't already filming with my phone now they did say that the vertical board the vertical boards wrapped around so we can see an idea of them 
right here and right there. This side also says Sanderson Bridge. And these are the crude pilasters they're talking about right here. Uh, I hear, I hear a vehicle. I want to get out of the way. Hmm. I wonder what these are. Oh, water. Water things. <laughs> valves. Maybe they're valves. I guess there's a false alarm. But uh, you can see over here. The vertical slats. And you see how they go all the way up. So if there had been those square portals they were talking about, they're gone now on both sides. And also we can see, here's a car coming, we can see the abutments right here. We can see the, uh, there are blocks Those two are concrete, and this one is marble, and then looks below it, uh, more marble all the way to the water. Pretty interesting. And here's another car coming the other way. So they're not faced in concrete as the others had been, but they are supported by blocks of concrete. And then just to show you again, Sanderson Bridge. And we have a much better idea of pilasters and even Greek Revival style, uh, styling of the upper portion, can't we now, with the uh, pediment up here and the pilasters coming down. Pilasters are columns built into a wall, in case uh, you did not know that. But if you've been watching my videos for a while, I seem to attract pilasters to me, I don't know. <laughs> I do talk about them fairly often. All right. Um, well, thank you so much for coming with me today uh, to uh, Rutland County, Brandon, Vermont, to see Sanderson Bridge. I appreciate that. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do enjoy my videos, I would ask that you subscribe to my channel. Once you do, click on the notification bell and you will be notified each and every time I upload a brand spanking fancy, shiny new video just for you. There's always room for more. And for the 143 people who've already subscribed, thank you so much. Truly appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the content I provide to you. Alrighty. And on that note, until I see you tomorrow, because I upload every day, you have a great evening. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. This is Patricia, and I am trapped.